Welcome back to Tom Cat Bandit Plays Pokemon Crystal. In the last one, we caught a Hootoot and a Geodude and battled Dumbass, the red-headed child that keeps on, keeps on hitting us and pushing us out of the way. The creep. Goodbye, Ratata. I don't even want to battle you. We'll go up to this berry tree and see what's up. Hello, berry tree. It's a berry. We got a berry. Let's see what this guy has to say. I'm waiting for Pokemon that appear only in the morning. You could be waiting a while. Wait a minute. What appears in this area? Checking my guide. And I just read a test and who toots at night, so we'll leave. Go to Route 30 and 31. Of course, after we heal, pick up some more Pokeballs. Sorry, I did not want to do that. Goodbye. Now for some shopping. Hello, good sir. What do you have to sell? We've got Pokeballs, potions, antidotes, paralyzed heals, weakenings. Well, we should buy at least five of these. Because we are going to be going up against the Pokemon that can poison us. We'll get four of these. And then we'll get eight of these. There we are. We spent all of our money. Like good children. Take a look at the pack. We got two berries. Yep. Don't want to use it. I want to give. We'll give it to Geo Gal. And we'll give one to Doug. We'll also move GeoGal to the top so we can start leveling her up. Too bad she does not know rock move just yet, but that'll change. Another berry. Excellent. I don't think we've gone inside this house, have we? Hello, sir. You know, Pokemon eat berries. Well, my Pokemon got a lot healthier by eating a berry. Here, I'll share one with you. Awesome, we got yet another berry. Should come in handy when we're leveling up our lower level Pokemon. Now we're on a hunt for a polywag. We did encounter one before, but sadly we did not have Pokeballs. But we do have like a 25% chance of finding one at night on this route. So it should be fine. Oh. I'm sorry, 16%. Well, this is going to be a ball ache. You can't hurt Geo Gal. She's a rock. Though, she can't hurt you very well either. Well, we'll have to switch to Fireback. Deckle this guy. Excellent. 
Uh -huh, I failed. Excellent. Kind of said we had to split the um, XP on it, but sadly that's something you have to do at the beginning. Here's a bug. It's level three, so it shouldn't be too bad. And that is why we have antidotes. Haha, <laughs> we were already slower. A battle of attrition. Until the bug goes down first. Probably should have captured this one, or try. We should try to capture it, but we'll meet a bunch of them along the way. And I've already gotten started on, you know, whittling this one down, so we can get some levels onto Geo Gal. So, Geo Gal, why did you do that? You can't be getting poisoned like that. Well, good that you used the berry, but still. Excellent. We'll heal the poison real quick with the antidote. Wait, we have a poison cure berry? Might as well. Hollywag, where are ya? You are not Pollywag. But we need levels, so here you are. Stop missing, Fireback! Stop growling! Man, all these Hutus ever want to do is growl. Hooray! Too bad she didn't learn anything. Uh, we found a Pokemon trainer. I am not weak. And I'm going to show you. Aradita, really, Aradita. Very well. Let's destroy this Aradita. Ah, uh, Aradita, you have nothing on me. Geo Gal will destroy you. Stop whipping me. I'm not that kind of girl. It's too bad Jill Gal can't learn rock throw until level 11. But there are some things that just can't be done. 
but when she does, she'll be a powerhouse in the flying gym. And the bug gym. Also, in the process of um, looking for a polywag, Geo Gal got leveled up to level 4, and of course now she just leveled up to 5. At level 6, she'll get Defense Curl, which is pretty useless because I'll never use it. Oh gee, a Zubat. Couldn't find the thing that had 16% chance, but we found something that has even less than that, I think. Maybe with more. It is... Oh, also 16%. Oh well. Let's see if we can capture it. It's not going to work very well for you. You're trying to suck life from a rock. Do what you will, I can't stop you, so I kind of wish I could. Throw that Pokeball! Ah, we got a female Zubat. During the day, it gathers with others and hangs from the ceilings of old buildings and caves. Ah, uh, togetherness. Sure, we'll give her a name. Hmm. We'll call her Sue. Or how about Sue Bat? Too bad. Probably didn't need to put a space in there, but I did. Because I wanted to. It's another spinner rack. Hooray! But now, Geogal is much higher level. And taking chunks out of this bug. If she had rock throw, this would be a done deal already. Fairly likely. Yay, I think we got it without getting poisoned. Caught it! Awesome. Let's see what Spinarak has done. Prey becomes ensnared in its nest of spun string. It waits motionless until motionless motionlessly until it becomes dark. I guess that likes to eat at night. Sure, we'll give her a name. Spin. Spinster. Very nice. Now we just have to find a polywhirl. Or polywhack. Not that. I was already slower than you. Or wait, no, I actually I was faster. Geo Gal is really be coming into her own, being faster than a bug. And this bug is much weaker in defense than the other one. Oh, Geo Gal, why? Why did you get poisoned? You grew to level 6. Learn to defense curl. 
Oh well. We'll go heal her up, and the next one we'll continue our search for a Pallywag. See you then!